Hello, everybody. The static site editor issue refinement session. Uh, today, I'm going to be spending some time um, refining the issue of migrating from middleman to frontman on our handbook. We, some context, um, we became aware of the frontman project uh, a few months ago, uh, thanks to Roman for putting us onto it. And uh, back then it wasn't public yet. Uh, it was developed by the documentation team at Algolia, who, similar to us, uh, was using middleman uh, as a static site generator and ran similar to us into performance issues and uh, went on a journey of creating their own static uh, site generator. And so uh, we, uh, I had a look at their video. I asked Roman if he could get in. Uh, put us in touch. Uh, long story short, we got in touch. Uh, they've recently released an alpha version of it, and we are hoping to migrate it for the handbook specifically. Now that we've split the marketing and uh, web, uh, handbook websites into their own sites, um, primarily uh, in the mono repo structure, there's still some shared assets that we're going to work to uh, move away from. But uh, overall, um, you know, the risk of trying at least to migrate to front man is low from, from that point of view. And, um, you know, hopefully it can bring with it a lot of performance benefits. Some of the benchmarks out there, you see the indicator, a 5x uh, improvement in, in generation time. And that's certainly uh, could be handy in terms of our pipelines and so on. So I'm gonna share my screen so you all can follow along. Make it a bit bigger. All right. Um, so one of one of the key uh, things about Frankman is that it's inspired by middleman and essentially follows a lot of the same structures. Um, so while it's not exactly a drop-in replacement for middleman, it's it's close enough that. Um, you know, the Algolia team converted their whole site uh, to front man in three days. Um, and they've, they've got a large site that's full of uh, thousands of pages. And, um, you know, our handbook site is now 8,000 pages. And uh, Chad did some initial kind of like exploration. And one of the first things that we need to do is um, move away from custom uh, extensions that middleman allows you to write. Um, in uh, favor of using helpers. Uh, Frontman does not support custom extensions, but they do have helpers. Um, and based on initial kind of like exploration, doesn't seem like there's uh, anything we can do is by moving to helpers instead of custom extensions. So, um, so Dad and I had a bit of a discussion about it. And so there's obviously some prerequisites uh, that we need to do in terms of converting the existing code base to uh, be ready to even attempt the conversion to front me. So um, what I'm going to be doing today is just refining this kind of like issue uh, that says, you know, migrate GitLab handbook from middleman to front man. And what I really want to do is actually start by converting this to an epic um, because we can house a whole bunch of uh, issues within it. Let's promote this to an epic. Let's tune up our issue labels. Uh, not need the workflow label on here. And that's fine like that. And we probably want to hook it up to our uh, top level uh, epic as well. So if you, yeah, okay, we've got an ancestor already here. Ah, well. That wasn't clever for me. Uh, it seems like we already had an epic for it. Um, so maybe what I should do is, um, so we close that one. So maybe I'll close this one. You go back to the old issue and open it up again. Mm -hmm. Okay, 
and we'll leave this one as the actual issue for just make sure that close down okay that's fine and the top level one all right so um thank you eric we miss that you already had a previously fleshed out epic for us um so one of the things that um go to that on github com go. One thing that uh, I really read of chat previously is if we go into uh, the extensions we currently have here, um, we have a bunch of them that are specific to the mono repo um, as well as um, the, the assets that we that we have shared between uh, kind of like the the handbook and the um, marketing site, you know, the partial build that we're not using in the handbook anymore. Um, essentially the two two main functional ones that we need to create helpers for instead of extensions is breadcrumbs and code owners. Um, and then also uh, we can need a mono repo kind of like a um, patch for front man, which will help to contribute uh, up to upstream to uh, enable the mono repo structure that we have. So the first one I want to do is uh, an issue for the breadcrumbs. Let's add an issue quickly. Load breadcrumbs. Extension to helper. And that will be from repo. Creating that. We're also going to need one for code owners. It's taking way too long. I'm wondering if there's uh, something went wrong. That's obvious. Let's try it again. If something's going on here. Uh, status 500 instrument. Okay, yes. Let's just read that quickly. Oh, ah, well, that's unfortunate. Um, let's work on this. Just up there, just a little quickly. So it's not reference, this would be code bonus. All right. Um, so now we've, we've got our two tasks. We also need an issue for um, uh, mono repo support for current man. Hopefully this looks fine now. Hmm. It seems to have an issue with that. Let's reload and see what happened. Yeah. So I haven't said that the response is not going to be for big thing. Um, so we need to convert this this one to this one. We need to have mono repo support and then we need to migrate the handbook. Um, so that I think gives us a good uh, outline of the prerequisites until you can actually get to um, the migration. Um, all right. So let's um, start by fleshing out this code of one of the breakers. This one I have that. Yeah, okay. So, um, I'm going to solve. Um, 
Let's start with the so the problem to solve it uh, as part of um, intention might let um, let a known to front known start to be side generator for the Hitler handbook. We need to convert less than little man space shows as these use reported in contact. Okay, proposed solution is convert the red trans stone show link to that. And let's just go into the proper. Um, yeah. Um, I think you can use for your proper methods. Here we go. Uh, default problem is passing all methods. By the way, so that's. Specific to front end, let's rather do middle I want to do these conversions while they're while they're still on middle man. Help our methods. Same thing we want to provide. One thing that we did discuss was it's not always 100% clear what this is. We can consider um, refactoring the goals well, but let's, let's just do the conversion. Mm -hmm. I think this one is enough just to kind of like get the ball rolling. I wish you add some labels, um, section, and then the words, the feature is maintenance. Well, we don't have a feature. No. Uh, we don't have a script labels in that that does um just gonna backstage oh, no 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 that's what you must know yeah put a picture um and this is back end this is what I and do we need anything else here oh yeah we can just set the workflow plan break them and then just fill that. Okay. Um, I'm not going to assign it to somebody, but we do want to add it to a milestone. You know, if I can get to it in 13.4. And yeah, that should be it. Okay, this. Okay. Update this issue. Find the breakpoint comes down. Now it's open. Do I help him this time? Okay. So we've got that issue. So now let's go back to this one. So this is for code owners. Part of the proposed convert down to this document. Create address. And this will be the code owners as an extension. Place the new folder. So help and reference. Do you want anything else? No. 
All right. So we've got those uh, two conversion ones there. All right. Then we need to oh, monorepo support. Um, to solve um, Python, uh, let's, let's part of our migration. Uh, I need to migrate the Python. Um, I will say that uh, mm, it's all risky in a sense of you know we're doing a bunch of work to and then we might not end up migrating to front end. Um, Chad did initial kind of like the thing content validation and um, you know, everything seemed feasible. And so the risk we're taking here is a measured risk. So that should be fine. Um, that's part of our team to migrate to front end. We need to ensure that uh, it will work with our mono uh, repo structure in WL GitLab platform. Okay. Uh, propose solution. This is going to be very vague intention as I don't have all the technical details. Uh, it's mostly in Chad's mind and so I'll let him flesh this out. Um, but this will just get the uh, ball rolling. So propose solution is um, uh, and support for patch and contribute patch upstream. <laughs> Definitely create a whole pack myself for this. These things are blocked and milestone for this is 34. All right. Now, considering all the other work on our, uh, that we've planned for 13.4, it's unlikely that uh, we'll get more than the migration of the helpers and monitoring successful into front end. What I do, uh, let me just have a look in this. I'll leave this as 13.4 for now, um, but it's likely that this one may uh, move over to 35. I just want to see if there's anything we want to migrate and we'll turn around to another thing. So I'll approach here, we can maybe refine a bit. There's so first, the uh, first step on our approach is uh, Convert uh, existing um, custom middle and then extension to helper assets. Um, then uh, uh, and then and lastly migrate the and book site from, from middleman to front end. Right. Um, I think uh, one thing we can note here is that uh, uh, assistant 
Um, um, just additional. Um, we will not be converting the marketing funds in the mono repo as part of this conversion. Uh, marketing that's one thing is by really evaluating their text that needs and we'll establish which uh, is exaggerated they will use so, all right so you're only going to touch the handbook site um i think one of the things we also want to do as part of this is fully break um, completely decouple the handbook from the marketing side by not sharing any uh, assets so currently we we do have some shared assets in this in the sense of images uh, styling strips and also even partial templates um that is shared between the handbook and the marketing site and um, considering the journey that the marketing team is on as well as the journey we're on uh, it's going to be important that we break that uh, up in, even though it's uh, you know, loosely defined i guess uh, at this stage um we we need to break that uh, going forward it's just going to cause more trouble than it's worth uh, even if it means uh, duplication in the thought all right um so that actually means we should really uh add an issue for this step as well uh, so let's actually go there So, I actually want to quickly add this to our epic site. So let's save it one. Here's the, the work demo uh, with tasks that Chad outlined. Maybe that's worth putting into the issue as well, but let's see. Uh, I want to link this one to uh, epic. It's on one. Um, it's one. Right. Okay. All right. Um, let's just quickly have a look at these tasks. Here. Yeah. Yeah. You want to confirm the date and the verbs. Top level monorepo will work. Monorepo subsite will be switched to build directly from the public. Default build to avoid conflicts. Um, convert to asset pipeline. Uh, yes. And so there's quite a few things here, and might be worth having these as. Might be worth having these as. Uh, Sub issues, but um, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Um, okay, um, so the thing we wanted to do was add an issue for this. To, so, what we really also want to do is add some blockers here. Add issues blocked by. Oops. And this was a block. And yes, it will be blocked like this when you create it. So let's quickly prepare to an epic. Yeah. Yeah, yes, okay. So let's add a new issue. Um, 
when we create a couple of hands up from the marketing site. See the script off. Then let's just get out. Let's add as a blocker. Alright, so my doing that much migration is block file in one of so yeah, I think that's fine. And then let's go and look at this. Oh. Let's see if I can find this. Ah, all those labels are gone. Oh well, that's annoying. I really want to. We need to build an extension with someone who can probably can populate these things. Problem we need to solve. Um, propose solution. Uh, we should do this in a second. Label. So that's that is Level. And. And, and uh, kind of break um, and I'm going to try and get this, get all the prep work done. Um, all right, problem to solve. Okay. Um, even though the and book that marketing sites are separate in the, in the repo structure in France. Maybe it might be worth me to do something here. The posture of funds. We can show here. Yeah. separate. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, we still have uh, some inserts um, CSA JavaScript, the uh, partial uh, clear between the two sites. Um, and maybe it's we can look at that as well. So that's everything that's still in. Can still sort of put styles now and stroke with different points. Nice, unnecessary things that I don't want, I'm sure. Let's start with some assets. User understanding of the sources. Okay, so as well as the constant. Um, cutting the diverging directions that the uh, handbook and marketing. Clear separation between the, <coughs> the two sites. Um, essentially, we want no shared the whole rule. Assets. We think we need nothing we want to share to top level from libraries that we want to read. 
let's wait, we'll rephrase that another time. And then we should provide clear separation between the two sides. Um, okay, solution. Um, uh, there is no, look, there's not easy way to share things at any, we have a way of sharing, but it's very cumbersome. Um, and then for moving away to front then it would be even worse to keep that as well as the direction the monkey starts moving. So the first solution is um, we copy from the parent shared assets what is needed by the input. We duplicate from the parent shared assets what is needed by the handbook. Um, into the handle return handle. Um, so, um, and the next one is we move one shed assets into the Marketing site directory. So essentially, what we'll end up with is most of the shared assets is probably related to the marketing site. Uh, we stand to be corrected on that point, but I feel fairly confident in making that statement. And so I think it makes sense to just say, look, remove everything there. And from there, you can do a cleanup. So uh, we do protect from the print shared assets only what is needed by the handbook into the handbook by directory, uh, leaving no dependent dependency on any files outside of this directory. Okay, uh, it's a Data. Because we use data for more shit. So we're not going to tackle that one just yet. Um, here's what we have. It's this. Okay. Um, we move all shared assets into the marketing site directly. as a sub point there. Yeah. All right. Um, this one I definitely want to uh, CC Lauren and uh, Lauren Brandon on.
ini ini kata. which should include Lauren and Brandon and that. Um, probably not chat this as well. That's not a final duplication, but considering the context and where we're heading, uh, I'm sure he'll come around to see my way on this one. This is the hammer approach rather than the surgeon approach. But if we try and comb for everything now, and it just feels like a, a hard problem to solve, uh, that we could rather do this. OK. Um, right. So now, if we go back to our epic here, refresh, make sure it's everything. We need to completely decouple the um, handbook from market size. So all of these, decoupling, converting, uh, as well as, so these four things here can literally happen in parallel. So we can have any team who pick this up. This one um, is obviously dependent on these getting to place. So um, that's one of the nice things that uh, we can share the load here. Um, and then once that's all in place, then chat can run with this. So. I'm fairly happy with what we have here, and I think, uh, yeah, this seems. I think we've moved moved it forward, um, refining in the issues and adding more steps and so on. So, I think that should be enough for today. Uh, yeah, we're in it,